For years, I misunderstood the gospel. Now don't get me wrong, the church where I was raised taught me that I was a sinner, that Jesus paid for my sins, and that I needed to repent and totally and completely trust in Jesus. My problem though was that I thought that the gospel was a, a one-time deal. It saved me from my sins and, and guaranteed my future in heaven, but it had no practical power for my everyday life. God saved me, but overcoming sin and personal growth, that was up to me. It was almost as if God said, I did my part, now the rest is up to you. It's only recently that I have come to understand the fact that the gospel not only involves the death of Jesus Christ, but his life as well. I have come to realize that I can never fulfill the law, but Jesus did. I can never overcome sin, but Jesus did. I cannot please God, but Jesus did and does. Such a truth has revolutionized my spiritual walk. I have rediscovered the magnificence and the life-giving power of the gospel. I'm convinced though that I'm not alone. I'm not the only one who has misunderstood the gospel. There are many today who have confused the gospel with religion, rules, prosperity, or a host of other things. They are living a discouraged and defeated life and don't realize that everything they need for this life and the next is available to us through the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let me ask you to join us this fall as we take a journey. A journey to reacquaint ourselves with the gospel. My desire is for us to see the gospel not only as a means by which you and I get into heaven, but as the driving force behind every single moment of our lives. Or to use the words of Peter, that we might understand his divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and God. Let's rediscover the gospel.